So I uh, hi everyone. I am Sandeep. Uh, I am the uh, co-founder at Polygon, and uh, I primarily work uh, in growing uh, and helping uh, Polygon builders build on Polygon. And uh, uh, I uh, I came to GM Vietnam because a lot of people uh, talked about the event, and I was very happily surprised. Uh, coming here, like there's a lot of uh, you know projects, not only builders, uh, but also a lot of uh, uh, you know uh, community people also here. And uh, one thing I got to know that uh, Vietnam is the software factory of Southeast Asia. So you know, and uh, there are so many developers and builders here. So it was really good to come and meet uh, a lot of them and uh, see what they are uh, you know up to. Yeah, so the one of the biggest milestone is that uh, you know in terms of the adoption, Polygon POS chain continues to be the highest uh, or the the largest number of uh, addresses, daily active users per day, and uh, number of transactions and all those things. Uh, but apart from that, like uh, we uh, you know seven eight months back or yeah around ten ten months back we launched our uh, in fact twelve months back we launched our um, the uh, Polygon zk EVM, which is which is our flagship product, it is still in the beta mode, still getting mature and all that. And before, like a lot of usage can come on that, uh, but that's like one of the biggest things. Then we have like Plonky 2 and Plonky 3, our uh, zk libraries proving systems, which are now being used by all the top uh, zk protocols. Either they are inspired by them or they are directly using it. Uh, you know, some examples are like, for example, SP1 from Succinct Lab, which became really popular. That is also built on Polygon Plonky 3. Uh, similarly, there are multiple other projects people are building on. So, those ZK technology is like our, uh, you know, it's, it's like now, uh, you know, Polygon uh, ZK team is generally considered the one of the most, uh, you know, legendary ZK teams in the industry. Uh, and also, like Ag Layer, we launched our V0 of 0 0.1 of uh, Ag Layer uh, recently. And then, uh, you know, the upcoming milestones are. The further upgrades of the ag layer ag layer is the main product of polygon everything else you know the zk proving systems polygon cdk zk avm they all uh, are the peripheral entity you know uh, entities or you can say uh, the execution environments that connect into the ag layer but the ag layer is the main flagship product of polygon Yeah. So Polygon 2.0 is actually the ag is is all about aggregation of blockchains. So we are building one aggregated blockchain network, which means that you know our fundamental belief is no single blockchain can have like unlimited TPS. It's not like you can have the whole world's blockchain or uh, all the Web3 applications on one single blockchain, right? So the the world is going towards a multi-blockchain world. The problem is that the users then have to move from one blockchain to another, have to go through all these complexities and all that. But what we are doing with Polygon Ag Layer is we are trying to create one aggregated blockchain network using which for the users it will feel like they are on one big infinitely growing network just the way you think or you feel today on the internet, right? For the users, it will be like that. They are like connected to one single network which they feel and then they can interact with any chains in the background. Uh, the, the the they can interact. The applications can interact from one blockchain to another, and all those things. But for the end user, they feel like they are on one single network, which we feel today when we use internet. Right? If I land in Vietnam, I connect to the same internet globally. Right? But in blockchains, is not the case. If you are connected to one blockchain, uh, let's Polygon POS, and you are connected to Optimism or Base, these are all separate networks. Yeah. How do we combine them and aggregate them into one single network is the goal of uh, the Aglia. So that is about Polygon 2.0. Yeah. So, 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 so,
Yeah. Yeah. So Polygon 2.0, uh, this uh, this Pole token, like Matic upgrade to Pole token, is basically a long pending upgrade on Polygon because previously when we rebranded to Matic network to Polygon, Matic network was a single chain architecture, and Polygon Pole is a multiple multi lane multi blockchain architecture, and so we needed the token to reflect that new uh, paradigm shift in how we are building the network. And so uh, that is what uh, you know that this upgrade uh, you know talks about. And Pole is like we call the third generation token, right? Like that. For for example, the first generation token was like BTC, right? And BTC is like a store of value. It does not do. It does not have a lot of utility. You can't stake it and all that. Whereas like we then came the Ethereum, the proof of stake tokens, where you can hold the token, but you can also stake the token and participate in securing the network. With Bitcoin, you using Bitcoin, you cannot participate in securing the network, right? But then, then, then Polygon type tokens come in, where you can not only stake the token in the network, but you can do multiple tasks. You can secure the network. You can join a prover network, which let's say allows Polygon staking. You can join a data availability network, which allows Polygon staking, and all those kind of stuff can happen uh, with that. So that's why we call Pole as a third generation token. We are very close to announcing a final date on the on the Matic to Pole migration, and then uh, you know Polygon goes its, into its new uh, phase of growth. And when I say growth, I mean the the growth of the developers, like the CDK Polygon CDK is already there. People can build more chains uh, using the same uh, you know uh, the, the Pole token, and Pole token actually incentivizes uh, the chains. Whoever are driving the maximum utility into the network, so, uh, so yeah, we are very excited with with this new, uh, you know, the the token upgrade, the finally which people community has been waiting for quite long time. Prover. Yes, yeah, so, so type one prover is basically a plug and play prover which you can put on any uh, any blockchain, like any existing EVM blockchain, and you can just plug in that prover and it, it can prove the entire blockchain to Ethereum. And that type one prover, uh, you know, allows many large existing EVM chains to be fully verified on Ethereum, to be fully secure uh, on Ethereum, and then also allows Ethereum community where the maximum amount of liquidity is there uh, that liquidity can float around in any of the ecosystems like uh, in these EVM chains which are connected with full security of Ethereum itself so that's the biggest benefit okay, so you mentioned a lot about uh, security and secure stuff so uh, what is the current state of the blockchain industry is rapidly growing uh, and the are always looking for Yeah, so I mean, security-wise, like zk, like we are one of the strongest team in the zk space, and we keep working. Like the products that we are building, we want to, uh, you know, fully uh, test them, work with the community, get the best uh, and the most secured zk protocols out there. And Plonky two, Plonky three are like basically one of those products which are being used by a lot of people in the community. And it grows the uh, the scalability. Plus, we make all our technology fully open source, right? And which allows a lot of builders to participate in the building of uh, those, uh, you know, like those stacks. So we are absolutely committed to that. And with Aglayer, you mentioned like user experience. Like user experience 
now that the blockchain ecosystem is getting more and more scalability, user experience is, is obviously going to be the biggest frontier. And Ag Layer, the main value of Ag Layer is basically providing a seamless user interface for the users, where users interact and, and, and you know, have one wallet and they can interact with hundred, hundreds of chains without uh, you know, without getting into uh, these bridging and all those other things. Uh, okay, so, um, now so that, um, uh, Polygon has formed partnerships with several major tech companies. Um, so, Wix has significantly boosted um, John, you guys' ecosystem. So, how this partnership um, uh, helped you guys to grow and development? And could you share some example about how? Yeah, we have like, uh, you know, I mean, we have a lot of uh, partnerships uh, previously, let's say, both in the crypto native world, like, you know, some of the DeFi protocols. And these are like de decentralized, like, like you know, DAO partnerships where like two DAOs or two decentralized protocols come together and then they grow the, the ecosystem. And back in the day, we had like Aave, Uniswap, uh, you know, the other uh, like, uh, DeFi protocols, a lot of like balancer and all that and which uh, le led to a lot of like retail people uh, creating the DeFi for all uh, ecosystem where uh, a lot of people were able to, um, uh, you know, get into DeFi because DeFi on Ethereum was super, super costly, right? And so uh, that's what in the, that was in the crypto native world. Then in the infrastructure world also, we have a lot of partnerships like, you know, the node providers like uh, like consensus is Infura, Alchemy, uh, you know, multiple wallets and whatnot. Uh, there also we have like, we have even uh, like partnership with multiple layer ones and layer twos, like Near Protocol is one of them. Uh, and similarly, there are other uh, projects also there. And then we also have like huge amount of partnerships in the real world, like the, the, the as we say, uh, you know, enterprise space, like literally all the Fortune 50 to Fortune 100 uh, project uh, companies, who have, whoever like have uh, done anything in Web3, mostly they have done it on Polygon. It includes like Coca-Cola to Nike, to Dolce's and Gabbana in fashion, to F1, uh, you know, cars, to, uh, you know, Reddit. Like, you know, when Instagram also launched their uh, Web3 program, there was that was also built on Polygon. Uh, and uh, Reddit is like today with 50 million NFTs, it's like uh, probably the, it's, it's bigger than the, all the NFTs combined yeah. in the entire uh, blockchain space. Yeah, and they have a big community. So yeah, things like that. Uh, and, and our goal is the mass adoption of crypto. And we'll keep doing that, whatever can help us to bring more users into crypto space. Yeah, so, you know, back in the day, 2021, 2022, Polygon, like, we grew from 80 people to, like, 600 people in a matter of, like, six, eight months, 10 months, maybe one year. And in that rapid growth, one important thing that we missed out was the culture part of the, you know, like, you know, we could not grow it in one single cultural fabric. A lot of teams got created, a lot of duplication of work happened and all that. And that's why we have done a lot of restructuring in the, in the past one and a half years. Uh, you know, brought, uh, focused a lot on culture, building the culture inside Polygon and all that. And the biggest strategic direction that we have moved is like we have brought the company, the, uh, brought Polygon into uh, again a more, uh, you know, crypto native uh, space because back in 2022, we started focusing a lot on bringing brands and enterprises into the space. And we, w we became the biggest protocol doing that. Uh, but then, you know, in 2023, 2024, the, the crypto uh, industry has again become more of a niche industry. And, uh, you know, in that niche industry, we want to, you know, play a more of a crypto native role. So we have like created our culture in a way that now Polygon is more and more crypto native. 
and uh, people inside are crypto native and we are trying to do uh, trying to reconnect back into the grassroots crypto native uh, communities more and more at polygon